Kettering Fairmont High School made history by crowning two LGBTQ plus students, seniors Deshaun Conley and Rose Green, as prom king and queen. Well, now the Board of Education is hearing from residents in the community who want to prevent something similar from happening again. Two News reporter Seth Bird was at tonight's school board meeting and the protest beforehand where people came together to support the teams. Even when I was given the crown and I put it on my head, uh, there was a lot of boos in the crowd. I didn't hear them. I only heard the congratulating, which uh, I was very thankful for. Despite support from Piers Conley and non-binary senior Rose Green received negative feedback online. It was hurtful to Conley and it took her time to heal. It's very demeaning and it takes a lot for an individual to be able to bring themselves back to who they are and believing in themselves and being fully confident and not letting things like that pull them out of who they are as a person. For as many haters, there was plenty of support as seen at a rally before the Board of Education meeting. Absolutely, every kid should have the opportunity to be prom king, prom queen, anything they want to be. So I support the, the school and the, the students voting for who they want to be prom queen and king. Um, I love that the community is here backing up these kids and some kids are here as well, speaking out for what they believe in and supporting their friends and their family here. Inside the meeting, some community members shared a different opinion. For Joe Hoverholzer, he believes prom king and queen should be a biological male and female. For the last few years, throughout all of history in the world, it's kind of been understood. So, uh, I, you know, so for whatever reason, the last few years, it's, uh, it's been, been questioned. And uh, I just don't think that's a good thing for society. The Kettering City Schools Board of Education has no intention of taking any action as they typically let student council handle the prom event. In Kettering, Seth Bird at 2 News.